Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering RSA Conference 2020 San Francisco. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Hey, welcome back everyone. It's CUBE's coverage here in San Francisco at the Moscone South. We're here at the RSA Conference. I'm John Furrier, your host of theCUBE. You know, cybersecurity is now a global phenomenon, but companies have to move at the speed of business, which now is at the speed of the potential attacks. This is a new paradigm shift, new generation of problems that have to be solved, and companies solving them. We have a hot startup here that's growing. Hazel Katz, the CEO, Kelly, Kelly Harrell is here. CUBE alumni, great to see you. Good to see you, John. Hey, so we know each other, you've been on before. Um, you know networking, you know compute, you know the industry. You're now the CEO of Hazelcast. Yeah. So first of all, what does Hazelcast do? And then we can get into some of the cool things. Well, Hazelcast is an in-memory compute platform. So we're a, kind of a neutral platform. You write your applications to us. Uh, we sit in front of things like databases and stream, uh, streaming sources, uh, and we execute applications at microsecond speeds, which is really, really important as we move more and more toward digital and AI. Uh, so basically when, when time matters, when time is money, people buy Hazelcast. So I got to ask you, you're an industry veteran, you can do a lot of different things, you can run any companies you want. Why Hazelcast, what attracted you to this company? What was unique about it that got your attention and what made you join the firm? Well, when I first started looking at it and realized that a hundred of the world's largest companies are their customers, and this company really was kind of, kind of a run silent, run deep company. A lot of people didn't know about it. Um, I could not, I had this dissonance, like what, how can this possibly be the case? Uh, well, it turns out if you go um, into the Java developer world, the name is like Kleenex. Everybody knows Hazelcast because of the open source adoption of it, which has gone viral a long, long time ago. So once I started realizing what they had and why people were buying it, then I looked at that, that, that problem statement. The problem statement is really increasing with digitization. So the more things uh, are speeding up, the more applications uh, have to perform at really, really low latency. So there was this big, big growth market opportunity, yeah. and Hazelcast clearly uh, had, the, had the drop on the market. So I got to ask you, so we're at RSA, and I mentioned on my intro here, the speed of business has always been kind of the IT kind of cliche. Yeah. Moving at the speed of business, but now business has to move at the speed of how to react to some of the large scale things, whether it's compute power, yep. cloud computing, yep. and obviously cyber, it's attacks and response. Yeah. How do you view that, and how are you guys attacking that problem? Well, you know, it's funny. Um, I think the first time I truly understood security was the day that I was shopping for a home safe. You know, because I realized that all of these safes they all were competing on one of the common metric, which is the mean time to break in. Right? Is that you had one job, <laughs> and, and all you can tell me is that it's going to happen eventually. You know, so the kind of the scales got peeled off my eyes, and I realized that that when it comes to security, the only common factor is elapsed time. You know, and uh, so, so the elapsed time is what matters, and then the second thing is that time is relative. It's relative to the speed of the attack. You know, if I'm just trying to protect my goods in a safe, the elapsed amount of time is how long it can take for the bad guy to break into the safe. But now we're working at digital speeds, you know, so you, know, you take a second, break that down to a thousand, uh, that's a, you know, milliseconds, it takes 300 milliseconds to blink. Yeah. Now we're working at microsecond speeds, uh, and we're finding that, that there are a, just a, a really rapidly growing number of transactions that have to perform at that scale and that, and that speed. Um, you know, it, it may have escaped people completely, but card processing, credit card, debit card processing, ever dawned on you that that's an IOT application now? Yeah. Right, I, because yeah. Like my phone is a terminal, Amazon's a giant terminal, number of transactions go up. They have three milliseconds to decide whether or not they're going to approve that. And uh, now with uh, using Hazelcast, they not just handle it within that three milliseconds, yeah. but they also are running multiple fraud detection algorithms in that same window. Okay, so I get it now. That's why the in-memory becomes critical. You can't so do it unless you you're in You've got to be in memory. Okay, so I got to ask the next logical question, which is, okay, I get that. It makes a lot of sense, and I want to dig into that in a second, but let's go to the application developer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm doing DevOps. I'm doing cloud. I'm cool, right? Yep. So I, now you just wake me up and say, wait a minute, I'm not dealing with nanosecond latency. What do I do? Like what's, I mean, who's, how do applications respond to that kind of attack velocity? Well, well it's not a rip, it, it, it's not a, uh, an evolution. So the application is written to Hazelcast. Uh, it's very, very simple to do. Um, there are uh, like 60 million Hazelcast cluster starts every month. So people out in the wild are doing this all day long. We're really big in the Java developer community, but not only Java. Um, 
And so it's very, very straightforward with how to write your application and point it at Hazelcast instead of pointing it at the database behind us. Uh, so that part is actually very, very simple. All right, so take me through, I get the market space you're going after, makes total sense. You're on the, I think, the right wave in my opinion. Business model, product, how are you guys organized? How do, do people sign up for a development, on the development side, who's your buyer? What's the business look like? Share uh, Hazelcast uh, 101. Yeah, yeah, so we're an open core model, meaning the core engine is open source and fully downloadable and, and you know, free to use. Uh, the additional functionality is the commercial aspect of it, which are, tend to be features that are used when you're really going to, into sensitive and large-scale deployments. Um, so the developers have access to, uh, they just come to hazelcast.org and, uh, and join the community that way. Um, the people that we engage with are everyone from the developer all the way up through the architect and then the uh, C-level member who's charged with standing up whatever this new capability is. So we talk up and down that chain. Um, we are a very, very technical company, uh, but we've got a very, yeah. very powerful ROI. So what's the developer makeup look like? Is it a software developer, is it an engineer? So what's the makeup of the, of the developer engineer? Uh, they're, they're core application developers. Um, a lot in Java, uh, increasingly in .NET, uh, as uh, ML and AI are coming on, we're getting a lot of Python. Uh, so it's, it's developers with that skill set, and they're basically uh, writing an application that they're, um, uh, basically their division is specified, so we need this new application. It could be a new application for customer engagement, an application for fraud detection, an application for stock trading, anything that's super, super time sensitive, and uh, they, they select us and they build on us. So you have the in-memory solution for developers. Mm -hmm. Take me through the monetization on the open core. Is it services, is it uh, uh, it's, it's a subscription. It's a subscription model. So okay. uh, we, we are paid on an on a, you know, annual basis uh, for full use of the software. And um, you know, however large the installation gets is a function that, that, that basically determines uh, you know, what the price is. And then it's just renewed annually. Awesome, well good subscriptions, good economics. It is. Um, what about the secret sauce? What's under, the what's under the covers? Can you share what the magic is, or is it proprietary? Is it math? It's, what's, uh, what's it, 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 it's, it's hardcore computer science, it really is what it is, and that is actually what is in the core engine. Um, but I mean, we've got PhDs on staff. We're tackling some really, really hard problems. You know, I can, I can build anything in memory. I can make a spreadsheet in memory. I can make a word processor in memory. But, you know, the question is, how good is it? How fast is it? How scalable? How resilient? So, um, you know, those three things, speed, resilience, and scale, are the, the foundation, and it took the company years and years to be able to master this. That's an asymptotic attempt, and you're never at the end of that, but we've got, you know, the most resilient uh, system. I mean, we, it doesn't go down. It can't go down, because our customers lose millions for every second that it's down. So it can't go down, it's got to scale, and it's got to be low latency no Which matter what. Which customers you guys have right now? Can you talk about the public references and why they're using Hazelcast and what do they say about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've got a hundred of the largest. Uh, uh, financial services is about 60% of our revenue. E-commerce is uh, another 20%, large telcos, another chunk lot of, there. So it's just a lot of IOPS uh, type companies, right? Yeah, basically. It's, old, um, so, you know, in the financial services, uh, it's all the names that you would know. Uh, every logo in your wallet, is probably one of our customers, as an yeah, example. Yeah. Uh, massive banks, uh, card processors. Uh, we don't get to talk about very many of them, but you know, some like National Bank of Australia, yeah. uh, uh, Capital One. Um, you know, you, you can you can let your your mind run there. Um, our largest customer has over a trillion dollar market cap. There's only a few that meet that criteria, so I'll let you. I think I figured that one out. On that one. one of the three. Um, yeah. All right, so what's next for you guys? Give the quick plug on the company. Really appreciate the insights. I think in memory's hot. Right. What are you guys looking to do? What's your growth strategy? Uh, what's, what do you, what's your priorities as CEO? Yeah, well we just raised a $50 million round, which is a very, very significant round, um, and uh, we're putting that to work aggressively. We just came off the biggest quarter in the company's history, so we're really on fire right now. Uh, we've established a very strong technology partnership with Intel, uh, in, including uh, especially because of their AI initiatives. Uh, because we power a lot of AI uh, uh, applications. IBM has become a strategic partner. They're now reselling Hazelcast. Uh, so we've got a bunch, of, uh, of a bunch of wind in our sails right now. Coming into this year, what we're going to be doing is uh, really delivering a full-blown uh, in-memory compute platform that, deliver, that can process stored and streaming data simultaneously. Nothing else on the planet can do that. We're finding some really innovative applications and um, you know, we're just really, really working on market penetration right now. You know, when you see all these supply chain hacks out there, you're going to look at more in-memory detection, prevention, counter-strike, you know, all these provision, uh, things yep. you got to take care of. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, applications have to now respond. 
It's almost like a whole new SLA for application requirement. Yeah, it is. I mean, the bad guys are moving at digital speed. You know, if you yeah. have important apps that, uh, that are affected by that, right. you, know, you better get ahead of that. Um, well, congratulations. You could be doing that, by the way. You could be doing that on your on-premise, or you could be doing it in, in the cloud with the managed service that we've also stood up. Well, soon we get the cube in, in, in memory. Here we go. So when we're there, we'll be happy. Kelly, congratulations on the funding. Yeah. Looking forward to tracking you. We'll follow up and check in with you guys. All right. Congratulations, awesome. Thanks, Thanks for coming John. on. All Appreciate right. it. Okay, it's Cube coverage here in San Francisco, the Moscone. I'm John Furrier, thanks for watching. <laughs>